Hello, I'm Brenda Anderson from Tasting Scotland, a food and drink tour company, and I'm pleased to serve as a World Food Travel Association Ambassador in Scotland. Today we're celebrating World Food Travel Day, and I'm joined by Chris Loy, one of Scotland's 25 food tourism ambassadors. So just before I bring you Chris's 60 second food and drink story, Chris, tell everyone a little about the area that you represent. Uh, hi there. Uh, so I uh, represent the Outer Hebrides, which is in the Western Isles of Scotland. It's a chain uh, of like, 12 inhabited islands and I'm based in the Isle of Harris, which is quite a central location in the middle of the islands. Harris, a beautiful, beautiful location. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, what a great spot you are in for sure. So, Chris, what would you say then the area is most famous for um, or why must people visit it? Uh, probably, uh, personally, I'd say to come and see the beaches because they're some of the most uh, world-class beaches I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, same as for loads of things um, like with tweed and uh, like gin and uh, with amazing food produce that we've got as well. Great, of course, Harris Tweed, um, <laughs> unforgettable Harris Tweed, and yeah, so many beautiful islands up there and. So such great produce, isn't it? It's fantastic yep. seafood and, and everything else that comes with mm -hmm. it. Um, so are you ready then for these questions? They're going to come at you quite, quite fast. Um, yep. But um, just a little insight into your kind of food and drink story and a little bit about you. Yep. So let's give it a go. So first of all, Chris, food, sweet or savoury? Uh, savoury for me. Savoury for you. I know you're sweet enough, right? Mm -hmm. uh, number two, what always makes your mouth water? Uh, the scent of freshly baked bread. Baked bread. Ah, nice, <laughs> nice. Um, which three products from your region would you say are must-tries? Uh, well, local seafood, uh, well, shellfish in particular is uh, world-class. Um, we've got also um, sort of wild venison from the hills. Um, Again, uh, from the Crofts, we've got um, local uh, mutton and lamb. Um, and then we've loads of other small time producers that do uh, a vast array of things from uh, even like Croft eggs some jams, chutneys. We've got a mustard maker and even myself with chocolate as well. Of course you do chocolate as well, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, I can't ever remember receiving a box from you right enough. Hmm, might need to do yeah, something that, about that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know you're a man, a multi, a multi-talented chef, aren't you? Um, yeah. Talking about chefs now, it might be that a chef is one of is is your food and drink hero, or I might be wrong. Who is your food and drink hero? Uh, personally, I would say like the way it is now, anybody that comes into the industry and comes in and gives everything they've got every day is a hero. Uh, I don't actually want to pick a specific person. I think just everybody that's going for it and trying their best to make make an experience for their customers is a hero to me. Oh, that's a brilliant answer. I love that. I love that. And it's a tough time. We've all had a tough time, haven't we? And uh, yeah, anybody who's given it a go, I love it. Um, so which food or drink item, Chris, could you happily live without? Uh, me, I could live without turnip. <laughs> <laughs> the humble meat you could live without. Is it turnip or yeah. is it swede you're talking here? Uh, well, I'd call it turnip, but uh, probably the English would call it swede. But, um, well, it's sweet, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, once a year and Buns Night's enough for me. <laughs> So Ruta Vega also, of course, it's known as as well uh, around yeah. the world. So the the humble Ruta Vega Swede turnip, <laughs> very good. good <laughs> <laughs> so which healthy food would you happily eat your weight of? Uh, probably uh, fresh Scottish berries in the season, um, in the summer, strawberries, raspberries, especially if you picked them out of the garden, they would eat them all day. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> very nice. And... Um, You've had a tough day today, I can tell, but who makes the best cocktail? Uh, well, um, I don't know. There's uh, loads of places make good cocktails. Actually, we're making a, a non-alcoholic cocktails just now, and we're using this product from Harris again. It's Wild Eve. It's uh, uh, made by a lady just down in the south of Harris, uh, and it's a, a sort of non-alcoholic botanical infusion, and it makes a great cocktail. Oh, uh, nice. So it's a new product to try. So she goes out and forages and... Um, it's all foraged and uh, using local um, ingredients to have seaweed and stuff in there as well. And it's uh, really nice, nice kind well, of better flavour. You've got plenty of uh, seaweed where you are, that's for yeah, sure. Definitely. You know, it's always good to use it. Yeah, and, and healthy as well, of course. Great, 
What about picnic meal or campfire meal? Mm. What was your preference and where would you have Thank it? You. Campfire for me, and on the beach, a nice sunny beach uh, here in Harris. We might not be warm enough, but it's, uh, fire will heat you up, and it's definitely a good place, place to have a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, yeah, if the sun going down is not hot enough, then you've got the fire yeah. itself. Okay. Brilliant. Now, what about, I know you've travelled extensively yeah. in your career. What about yeah. a favourite food travel memory? Um, I'm trying to think, like, possibly it's not a single memory, but when we uh, were having to do fruit picking as part of our second year, uh, to get your second year visa when travelling in Australia, uh, we had so many memories there, and, uh, and it was great to see the another side of the uh, sort of food industry, to see it from the more of the uh, agricultural side. And, like, so uh, what were you picking? Uh, oranges we were doing. <laughs> oranges so, in Oz, eh? My weight in oranges all the way through there as well. <laughs> Oh, well, I can uh, tell you, I picked my weight in strawberries as a yeah. child for about six years um, <laughs> in Aberdeenshire. Picking yeah. uh, strawberries was my summer job every single year. Yeah. So I know what it like it is. I've never picked an orange in Scotland, though, I will say that. Yeah. There's a few people who've got wee small orange trees here in Harris and their polytunnels as well and, and some lemons and limes as well. So they do grow here. There you go. <laughs> See citrus fruits here in Scotland. You heard it here first from this man here, good. Chris Loy. <laughs> I've got a user to you in my kitchen, actually, as well. <laughs> you use them in your kitchen? Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I've got a user to you in my kitchen. My commie chef got me oh, for Christmas. Oh, you're using it? Yeah, I've not got any users on it, but it's a small wee tree. Maybe one day we'll get some on it. Yeah, no, that's nice. So it's currently, what, like a bonsai, is it? Bonsai yeah, size? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, nice. Yuzu, great. Um, <laughs> so... Chris, last question for you. You're raising yeah. a glass. We're here celebrating World Food Travel Day. You're raising a glass, so what's in it? Uh, I've got a nice uh, chilled IPA for the, from the Isle of Harris Brewery. A nice local uh, craft ale from here. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, Chris, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's an absolute delight to see you doing so well. Um, from your student days when I used to teach you at City of Glasgow College and to see you absolutely flying now, it's a joy. So all the best to you and um, good luck for the season. Have a great one. For everyone else, it's um, World Food Travel Day. It's Brent Anderson with Chris Loy. Chris is in Isle of Harris. Uh, I wish I was there too, I will say, but we're both in Scotland. We're having a great day. And um, for all of you out there, have a great day too. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>